name is Dr. Samantha Smith. I am a home health physical therapist that specializes in knee replacements. And today I wanted to talk to you about stiffness after your knee replacement. This is one of my most common complaints that I get from my patients after their knee replacement. And it's also the most common question I get asked in my Facebook group. If you haven't joined my Facebook group, I'm gonna link it down in the description below. It's a support group, but it's also a group where I participate and I answer questions and I also do a monthly live on my Facebook groups. First question, why do you have stiffness after a knee replacement and where does it come from? So most of the time the stiffness is because of the swelling. So after you have a surgery, after you have an injury, your body is going to create swelling and this is just part of the inflammatory response. So during the inflammatory response, your body sends all the inflammatory cells over to the injured area to help clean it up and heal it. And this is a normal part of healing and it is expected. However, your body does overcompensate and send over too many inflammatory cells too much fluid, too much blood to that area, and it causes the stiffness. Also, after you've had an injury, your body will send over more blood to the injured area, and this is also very helpful because the blood has nutrients in it, and nutrients will help heal an injured area. So that is the most common reason why you have stiffness after you've had a knee replacement surgery. Another part of the inflammatory response that becomes overcompensated is because the knee now has a foreign object in it. So you're going to have the metal inside your knee, you're going to also have plastic inside your knee, and your body obviously has never had those things inside the knee joint before, so it is very confused. So your inflammatory system is sending over all those cells to help get rid of those foreign objects in your knee. And of course, it will be unsuccessful and your body will eventually accept that you have metal and plastic in your body now. And that takes up to a year for your body to fully accept that you have foreign objects in your body now. So generally I see the stiffness increase between four and six weeks post-surgery. And this is because around then you start doing a little bit more after surgery. You start getting back into doing your chores, going to the grocery stores, things like that. And you slowly learn what you can and can't do after surgery. Most people will see that they can't do too much or they'll have that increased stiffness later in the day or the next day or at nighttime. And that's when around six weeks, you start to change up your routine a little bit more. You start to do maybe a little bit less or you plan out your activities a little bit better. So the best way to decrease the stiffness is to slowly increase your activity level over time and not to do too much too soon. That's when I see my patients having a lot of extra stiffness and a lot of extra swelling is if they went from, let's say, doing some grocery shopping or maybe running some quick errands to walking several hours at Sam's or Costco. Obviously that is a huge change in activity level going from running quick errands to spending an hour in a grocery store. Your knee is not going to like that if you do it too soon and you don't train your knee to slowly get to that activity level of walking for a full hour. So with my patients, what I will do is I'll start them on a walking program around I would say usually around four to six weeks post-surgery, we're starting the walking program. And what it looks like is I'll have the patient walk as far as they can until they experience fatigue or discomfort or pain, something like that, some sort of symptoms. And then I'll say, okay, that is as long as we are going to walk. And we're gonna do that twice a day, every day, until we get to the goal that you wanna reach. So let's say that's five minutes. We're starting out five minutes walking and then you get symptoms of fatigue, pain, discomfort. I'll have you do that five minutes twice a day for the first week. Then the second week we'll bump it up to six minutes. 
third week will go to seven minutes and so on and so forth until you get to the level that you want to get to maybe 30 minutes 35 45 minutes whatever you need to get to to reach your goals that's how long your walking program is going to last so another thing i wanted to address in this video is should you be worried about the stiffness is there ever a time where the stiffness is not normal most of the time the answer is no stiffness is normal and you should see a correlation between your activity level and the amount of stiffness that you have again if you go from doing quick errands to walking an hour in costco you're going to have more stiffness and swelling and that is completely normal the only thing that i worry about with my patients is if their pain is slowly increasing over time if they're going from you know level five pain and it's slowly increasing and getting worse and worse and worse and more swollen and swollen and swollen and they've done everything i've asked of them they've decreased their activity level they've iced they've elevated they've taken their pain pills they've done everything and it's slowly getting worse that's when i'll say hey let's go see the surgeon maybe let's have them do an x-ray and see if there's something going on the way to fix it is to do the walking program also time is the best medicine in this case you just have to wait for the inflammatory response to calm down in your body your body will slowly stop creating so much swelling and fluid in your knee and that takes up to one year post-surgery so you do have to be patient in this case. A knee replacement surgery is such a journey. I always tell people it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. Expect symptoms up to one year and it is normal to have stiffness, achiness, soreness after you do a long day of activity, even one year post-surgery. So all normal. If you have any questions at all, please Put them in the comments below or please join my Facebook group. I answer so many comments on my Facebook group. I am on the Facebook group every single day. So please join my Facebook group. Um, I, again, I will link it in the description below and you can join. It's free, of course. And I also do a monthly live video on my Facebook group. And please like and subscribe. That tells me, hi cat, my cat hates when I talk. If you like and subscribe, that tells me that you guys are enjoying these videos and I can make more. So that would be great. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.